Well, howdy, 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 and hello. Welcome to week seven of our Valorant season. This is the final week. These Foxes, it is do or die time. They need to win this one in order to stay in the top 16 and make it to the playoffs. Um, they're going against Joliet Central uh, tonight, and right now Yorkville Foxes are looking pretty sharp and ready. Uh, we are the higher seed. Right now we're rank 11. Um, Joliet Central is a little bit farther down in the seeding. Um, so should be good to go. I'm going to switch switch sides here. Having a kind of issue who's going to be attack and who's going to be defender first. Looks like these foxes are going to be defenders first. So we're going to take just a quick little two-minute break here as we get everything kind of squared away. Don't go anywhere. I'm Coach McKenna in the fabulous Atkins Esports Arena. You can hear these foxes behind me. They're ready to go. They're excited. So am I. I know you guys are too. So we'll get started in just a second. We'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere.
All right. These foxes are settling in here. The IHSA stream of the week match. That's us. We are getting ready to go here. I'm excited. You're pumped. Here we go. Last, last regular season game of the season. These foxes behind me are beyond pumped. They are ready to take down Joliet Central here. Let's go. First map's going to be bind. All right. We got Cole going Brim. We got Copic going Sage. We got Potamus going Rays. We got I Don't Know going Sky and Galaxy going Viper. Let's see how they do on this map. These Foxes have been great all season on Bind. So it's going to be exciting to see. I'm pumped. You're pumped. We got to win this one to get in that top 16. Let's go. It's going to be a good, 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 good night. Um, hopefully this is a two-map deal. We do not have to go to Icebox. These Foxes have not been successful on Icebox this year. That is okay. Um, Bind is probably one of their strongest maps. Uh, Ascend is also good. So hopefully we can do Bind, Ascend, and not have to force an Icebox. Um, 30 seconds here as uh, Joliet Central settles into their picks. And we're about to get going here. Foxes are going to be on uh, defense first here. So we'll see how this all plays out. Um, again, if you're just joining the stream, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Coach McKenna. You just joined the YHS eSports stream. Uh, we're in the beautiful, fantastic Atkins eSports arena here in YHS. And, yeah, you're joining us for an exciting time. This is week seven, final, final match of the regular season for Valorant for the IHS EA. And we are the IHS EA stream of the week. So here we go. We're going to be defending first. It is bind. Let's see what Joliet Central has here. Oh, they're going to be going Rays, Chamber, Sage, Sova, and Omen. A little bit of a different team comp from these Foxes. We'll see if that strategy plays off later. Round of applause for these Foxes. They have been, they've been doing a great job all year practicing, getting everything ready. And here we go. Pistol round by phase. Let's get my ugly mug out of here, and we'll switch on over to the player's camera. By phase here, um, everyone's going to be starting off with pistols and a little bit of light armor. Galaxy, I don't know, Potamus, Copic, and Cole. Those are our players. 20 seconds until the walls go down and by phase is complete. And we're about to start round one of an exciting week seven matchup. YHS Foxes versus Joliet Central. Let's go. Let's get it on. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Walls are down, defenders are ready. Let's see what Joliet Central's gonna bring to the party here. Right now we got our camera on Cole. He's kind of holding a route to A point right now. We're gonna switch on over to Galaxy, see if he sees anything coming down the pipeline for B point. Nothing so far, seeing a little bit of smoke. Not sure if Galaxy threw that. Yes, he did, the enemy team does not have a Viper. Still no action yet. We're going to switch on over to I don't know. He's holding down A point with Cole. Seems like they're going to be rotating over to B point. Seems like the Foxes have an inkling of where Joliet Central is going to be here. Seeing some grenades coming out of that hall there. What the Foxes call the Hookah Hall because of its Middle Eastern design. Cole's got nothing there. Seeing some movement on the mini-map here from Galaxy. Still no sign of Joliet Central, though. Time is approaching. 35 seconds for them to plant this spike. Let's see what happens here. Oh, starting to see some action here. Whoa, tons of them coming out of that point there. We got Cole and Potamus still going to bring up the rear. Right now it's three agents to two. The spike has been planted. There is an enemy ice wall there. <laughs> Use this pretty nifty blade comb there. Potamus has got to watch out here. Jump over. He's going to throw out a drone here, see if he can bait some shots at it. Gives him a better idea where the enemy team is. Cole is ooh, trying. Wow, Potamus is doing a great job. Oh, no. El Tonto's right up there on the top. Just a lot of foxes jumping through that initial hallway there. Um, man, just got the drop on these foxes. That's all right. Nothing to sneeze at here, though. Economy is going to be in the advantage of Joliet Central. 
These Foxes can shake this off. First round always lost. It kind of does indicate that maybe second round might go to Joliet Central just because they have that economy advantage. However, I mean, I'm not worried. I'm not worried whatsoever. We've seen these Valorant matches where these Foxes go like 6-2 and two, and then the enemy team comes back and vice versa where we go 1-6 and six, and then we come back and end up winning the map. So you never know until it's too late. Whoa, big action here and I don't know. He's able to take down one but not before Godly Trash, Prince of Salt, and Georgian able to pick up kills themselves. And right now these Foxes are behind the eight ball. Got Potamus and Cole. And they got a big task in front of them here. We'll see where the enemy is going to plant. Looks like B point. Spike has been planted. Enemy ice wall goes up. Cole able to get definitely a shot there. Got to be careful the second he breaks that wall. There might be an enemy right behind him. Oh, and there it is. And Godly Trash popped Cole one right in the face for trying. And like I said there, with that economy advantage, Joliet Central is going to take an early little lead here. But not to sweat. Galaxy's got a Vandal. So does the rest of our Foxes here. And we're in pretty good shape now economy-wise. We got full armor. We got Phantoms and Vandals. We're ready to rock and roll here in round three. So let's see what happens. We'll keep our camera kind of on our point men here. That would be Galaxy and Cole right now from the look of it. They're going to see the most action here. Cole's ready for some smoke from Brim. He's going to probably drop it the second that wall goes down. It's defending mode. Cole waits. He waits. Drops some smoke. Oh, seeing some action here. Keep our camera on Copic, see what he sees. Now we're playing some real Valorant. Both these teams have armor. Both these teams have automatic rifles. Now we're really in it. Let's see if Cole sees anything from his corner point of view. He does see some smoke, I believe, that he dropped. I do not see a red tint to it, so that is Cole's own smoke. B point has got Galaxy and I don't know. They're holding it down. Don't see any action over there. Minimap looks pretty quiet and clean right now. Joliet West playing kind of slow and steady, wins the race right now. These Foxes are used to a little bit more aggressive play that they've seen throughout the season. This might be a strategy by Joliet West to call people out. El Tonto jumps through, gets Potamus through the wall there. Galaxy and I don't know are going to come back from B point. Spike planted. Kopik had to retreat a little bit there off A. He's going to try to play some corners here. Not seeing any enemies there. He's clean there. Great headshot by Kopik there. Takes down Godly Trash. Galaxy takes down Georgian. And we got a 3-3. Foxes did get flashbang there. Got blinded. Dog goes out. One enemy remaining. And there's our message on the Discord about the IHSEA stream. We are the official stream of the week right now. We have a defusal in process. Foxes, get on the board. Yes. One to two. Yorkville down just one round. However... I can feel the mon momentum switch right there. These Foxes have been practicing for beyond seven weeks. This is the seventh week of the Valorant season. However, these Foxes have been training for an entire month before that and then some. So really for these Foxes in uh, Atkins Esports Arena, this is more so like week 12 or 13 for them that they've been a part of this program. These guys are sharp. They're ready. They know their stuff. They are ready to play. B side Galaxy setting up there. Um, most of the time it's just him and I don't know. However, it looks like we got Copic joining him on B site right now. And A site's just going to be two people, Potamus and Cole. Let's see what happens here. Wall is down. Defenders are ready. Cole's holding down a big corner here for A point. B point's got a lot of foxes on it. We got Galaxy, Copic, and I don't know. And over on B. A side, we got Potamus and Cole. Let's see what happens here. Smoke and ice wall goes out. Copic ready. He's ready for someone to jump up and pop a face here. Joliet Central again playing slow and steady here. Nice bank off the wall there for Copic and his ability. Oh, we just lost Cole there. Minimap did go down. 
a lot of foxes coming over to A point here. The spike was planted. Checking corners like a pro here. Co-pick is. Wow, great reflex by Co-pick there. Able to get the headshot, able to get a second one. Third one, not so much, but Galaxy is there to pick up the revenge kill on Godly Trash. El Tonto gets Galaxy. We are defusing. Nice job, Foxes. Able to defuse it and get El Tonto at the end. These Foxes just tied this map, and it is two rounds to two. Potamus almost has a signature ability charger. He's missing one on his ultimate. Copic does have his ultimate ready. Hmm. Hearing some strategy in the background right now, these foxes are saying it seems like Joliet Central was kind of saving up their economy, their money that round. But that kind of asks the question, what are they buying for? What are they saving up for? Now's the time to kind of get that money going, try to start getting that momentum. These foxes just won two in a row, so they're starting to pull out ahead money-wise. Let's get back to the action. We'll keep it on Copic right now. He picked up a nice, clean double kill there on A point last round. I get a feeling that Central might be going B point. They didn't get a lot of success on A point last time. Oops, seeing some action. Recon arrow goes out. Location was revealed. Galaxy has to watch out. Galaxy gets a really clean kill on Georgian there. Godly Trash gets co-pick over on A point. Prince of Salt gets Galaxy. Potamus gets bread. Potamus gets Prince of Salt. Let's switch over to Potamus. All the actions on him. Godly Trash rezzes Prince of Salt. What a great rocket and shot by Potamus there. That was huge. Excellent job, Foxes. Got to be careful here. It is two agents to two now. Potamus might have been able to get a little bit of damage on there. I don't know, is aware that he is coming down that hallway. Wow, great clean shot by I don't know. Gets that pixel perfect. Definitely does some damage to Tonto there. Cole should be able to get to that point. Switch on over to his bulldog and clean this up. He's got to play it clean. He's got to play it smooth. Doesn't want to exactly go running in, marching in with a bunch of loud footsteps. So let's see what happens with Cole here. Seems like Central's trying to do a little double back action here and plant the spike on A point. Nice. Seems like Julia Central is just trying to save there a little bit. Scratching my head on that decision there, but hey, it worked out for these foxes. Uh, Cole's the last survivor. He's going to have a bunch of money. Still going to save his bulldog. We haven't really seen Cole use a bulldog a whole bunch. He just bought a vandal for Copic. That's that awesome just kind of teamwork where you have a guy who has extra money just buying a gun for another teammate. These guys are so in sync. They don't even need to communicate these kind of desires. So, right now, if you're just joining the stream, I'm Coach McKenna in the beautiful Atkins Esports Arena. We are in week seven of our esports season here for Valorant. Um, we're the IHSCA dis uh, stream of the week on Twitch. Be sure to check that out. Um, and, yeah, we're having a great time right now in the Atkins okay. Esports Arena. These Foxes just won three rounds in a row. So, enough of me yammering on. Let's get back to the action. Oh, I don't know. goes down pretty quick from Prices, the Prince of Salt there. Galaxy rocking a sheriff. He might be saving up for an op round here. We'll see. Copic doing the same. Only has a sheriff. Wow. That was fantastic. Copic just turns the corner. Gets Prince Assault. However, Georgian was there to get Copic. Potamus gets the revenge kill. Godly Trash gets the revenge kill on Potamus. And all of a sudden, we're down to two to two agents. Less than a minute to go for them to plant the spike. See what happens here. We got Galaxy and we have Cole. Galaxy coming up on the rear of Cole, trying to help out. He does. Takes down one agent. Let's see. These foxes are so quiet right now. You could hear a pin drop in the Atkins Esports Arena. Trying to give Cole as much silence as they can. Trying to let him hear any kind of footsteps. We'll see if Joliet Central is going to try to save here. Ooh. Woo -wee. Hold your breath on that one. It seems like Cole got down to 16 health. Enemy team did get eliminated, though, and Foxes pull out to 4-2, and, and they're really starting to take momentum away from Joliet Central. 
That is the fourth round that the Foxes just won in a row there. Fantastic momentum these guys have right now. We're going to see if it pays off um, as we continue to watch the action unfold here. We are in round seven of our first map. First win 13 rounds in the map wins the map. First win two maps wins the whole kit and caboodle. Let's get back to the action. Cole with his classic spray there. Galaxy with a pretty cool skin on his Phantom. I don't know, is rocking a Phantom as well. A lot of Phantoms right now. Just could have sworn last week this team was nothing but Vandals, which is pretty much an AK-47 equivalent. So I'm not sure what happened in practice this week if we decided to switch over to a Vandal or to a Phantom. Let's see. Happens here. We got smoke on B point as they come through the tunnel. Brad gets co picked just like that. Galaxy gets El Tonto. Switch over to Galaxy, who just got four kills. Good gravy. Galaxy and Potamus just clean up big time. Huge, huge, huge momentum is building on Team Yorkville. That's for sure. Man, they had a lot of focus on Copic there as he was coming through the smoke on the B point and just allowed Galaxy and Potamus to just really light Joliet Central up. Huge, huge plays there. Uh, Galaxy picked up four kills. Really impressive. Awesome to see. Let's go, Foxes. Yorkville's now 5-2 and two on this map. A couple more rounds here. Once we get to the 12th round, we will switch sides, and Yorkville will go on the attacking. Galaxy in the smoke on A point right now. We'll see if he sees anything. I've got my eye on the mini-map to see if anyone comes down on B side. Right now, all is quiet on the western front. Ooh, did see some action there. A recon bolt did reveal people on B point. Seems like they might be coming through on it. Another recon bolt. Potamus throws out a grenade into what these foxes call the hookah hallway. Cole able to get a nice kill there. Seems like we got our camera in the right spot. So let's see if one, I don't know, is going to stick his nose out a little bit here, see if he can catch any central trying to sneak up on B point. It is possible they double backed on A point. Galaxy is still holding that down. No sign of any action on that right now. Over back on I don't know, though. He just grabbed a kill on El Tonto. That was not the spike carrier, though. And Central has 24 seconds to plant this spike, or else Yorkville will win this round and make it 6-2. See what happens here. Got my eye on the mini-map. If we see any action. Woo, and there it is. Cole, and I don't know. I don't know if this third kill, actually. Cole getting some assists, though. That's for sure. Flawless win by these Foxes. That is just great news for their economy. And these guys are really starting to pull ahead. It's coming up roses for Yorkville Foxes right now. 6-2 and two overall on this map. We are in our ninth round. After 12 rounds, we will switch sides, and we will be on the attacking phase of things. Um, yeah, and everything's really going well right now for these guys. Uh, economy's up. You can see down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, Cole, well, you can see right now in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, Cole is over seven grand. That's enough for almost two rounds, and then some, a full armor, uh, assault rifle, everything. We'll see what happens here. Drone comes out. A point is looking hot and heavy. We'll see if I don't know who's kind of bringing up the rear if he sees anything. Not yet. One's kind of the solo man out, just kind of holding down for any kind of 180 that they might do or a double back. Cole's ready with the trigger finger. So is Potamus. I don't know, just got Tonto. Still not sure if Central's going to go A or B point here. Seems like they might be doubling back to B. Ooh, Kopik able to get a nice kill there. Through the wall with his Odin. It's essentially a big M2 light machine gun. And, of course, the second we switch from Galaxy, he's able to pick up two. Another flawless win by these Foxes. Man. The money is flowing in for these Yorkville Foxes. Economy is not an issue whatsoever for these guys. They just won their seventh round in a row. They started this map off 0-2.
just to make Coach McKenna a little nervous. And now they've come back to win seven in a row. We are on our 10th round. Defenders are ready. Galaxy on B side. He's going to be holding it down with I don't know. On A point, we got Copic, Potamus, and Cole. Haven't given Potamus enough love, I feel like, so far. So we'll keep the camera on him. Seems like Julia Central might be rushing the point here. Cole did just pick up a kill. Whoa! Potamus able to get a rocket off with his alt and get one down. Galaxy sends out a smoke as a hush comes down on the eSports arena. Wow, look at that corner kill by Galaxy. That was fantastic. Galaxy definitely got a shot in or two there. And oh my gosh, this phantom skin he has is so cool. It is RGB changing colors to Lux. Julia Central is definitely going to B point. Copic is aware of that. He's using his Odin to really light people up through the wall here. Sends out a great angle and bounce on that. Copic gets bred. Foxes make it 8 2. And it's a great day to be a Yorkville Fox right now. Economy so strong. Um, really, we haven't seen too many alt plays. Well, Cole still has his alt save. So does Copic, which I believe is a res. I don't know, used his. He almost has another one. And then Galaxy used one as well. So we'll see what happens here. We are in our 11th phase. Got one more round as defenders. That would make it 9-2. They win this one. Make it 10-2 in their defending position. And then it's just three rounds away as attackers from winning the map. See what happens here right now. These Foxes are doing great for their standing. Oh, no. George on takes down Copic. Galaxy has a great smoke wall set up here. That did just happen on A point. See if Cole sees anything there. The second we leave Galaxy, of course, he dies. El Tonto gets him. And these Foxes are down two agents just like that. Joliet Central's looking to take the momentum away from these Foxes, take a little bit of wind out of our sails. Let's see if it can happen. Cole's ready, though. He's going to drop down a smoke. He knows this corner game very well. Recon arrow does go down. Does not reveal Cole's location, though. Interesting. Georgian gets Potamus, and oh, no. These Foxes are down three agents. This round might be a wash. Here, these foxes telling Cole in the background, hey, this is a pretty tall order to do. Don't even worry about alting it. Just take the loss. And that's just fine. These foxes have plenty of gold right now, so losing one match is not going to end it. In fact, speaking of gold, Galaxy just bought an operator. One hit, kill sniper rifle. Hit you in a leg, you're dead. Hit you in an arm, you're dead. Does not have to be a headshot to count as a kill. Um, we'll see what he's able to do with it. This is, of course, our last round before the swap. Yorkville Fox is absolutely dominating right now. Eight to three. Let's go. Even if they drop this round, they'll be eight and four at the swap. That's pretty great. We'll see what happens here. We'll keep our eye uh, focused on Galaxy. Galaxy with a great shot on Tonto there. That's why I bought the op. He knows how to use it. He knows what he's doing with it. So you can see that red dot kind of blinking in his crosshairs right now. That's kind of letting him know when he has accuracy. If you're moving, you do not. However, when you are totally still, you do. Ah, Prince of Salt just got Copic. We got Potamus, Galaxy, and Cole left. Cole has an operator as well. Godly Trash versus El Tonto, and Godly Trash gets Galaxy. And just like that, Julia Central's at full strength. It seems like everyone got an operator right now. I mean, why not spend the money before the round swap? Great shot by Potamus there with his op. He gets Prince of Salt. Does a little shake it off there. Trying to see if he can catch one of them. Grenade going out. Oh, he does flush out Georgian. But Georgian just runs and guns Potamus there. Oh, no. Golly, Trash takes down Cole, and these Foxes are going to go 8-4 and four on the split before they switch sides. Oh, 
All right. Just kind of checking some stats here. These Foxes are crushing it right now. Galaxy going 14-7 and seven in the KDA. Um, Cole, still a positive KDA. Three kills, three of six, six deaths. Let's see how the pistol round goes as these Foxes switch over to the attack phase. Right now, Yorkville needs to win just five rounds on this map, and they'll hit 13 and win the map. Joliet Central needs to win nine games in order to hit that 13. We've seen it before. There's Galaxy's pixel perfect throw in the clouds. That's going to drop smoke right in front of the teleporter on the map. That links A to B point. Drone comes out. It gets destroyed. Central knows that these foxes are here. No one has money this round. It is all just pistols. These foxes got to be careful going through the smoke here. Could encounter someone. Hearing a lot of shots, a lot of action. Ooh. Hearing some great communication shotting out from these foxes. Someone's got to hold the flank position. Someone's got to keep their eye on it. Man, Copic goes down, but he definitely got some damage onto Godly Trash here. Right now, foxes are up. One enemy remaining. Four agents to one. Spike does get planted. Galaxy gets Prince of Salt. Just like that, these foxes grab the first round as attackers. Starting to get. He's going to use a Marshall sniper rifle here on round two. Most of the time, we're seeing um, a lot of times in a round two econ by kind of what Copic is doing. Just grabbing a submachine gun um, and using that, that Spectre. I really like the Spectre. It does, you know, it's kind of a spray and pray kind of, you know. Submachine gun, whatever. It doesn't do as much damage as a Vandal or as a Phantom, but Spectres are cool. And here's Galaxy. Pixel perfect smoke throw. There it goes. Ice wall up from the enemy team. We'll see if anyone is behind it. Cole is kind of point man right now. He's calling down some smoke as Brim. He's going to throw it down on the map. Seems like these foxes are going to slow roll this out. S double smoke from Cole there. Great timing on it. Galaxy throws it out. Ally is planting a bomb. Woo-wee! The action is happening. Potamus, there's just too many of them. You can't reload in time. Shower right now. That hallway down there, what these foxes call shower, is hot and heavy. Cole just got George on. This spike is ticking away, and it's really a game of patience right now. Galaxy has to watch out for the shower hallway and people coming around from his ice wall here. His ice wall has extended the corner big time. Oh, man, just not enough. It looks like they will have enough time to defuse this thing. Ah, and there it is. Thrifty defenders. Joliet Central is not going to go out as quietly and easily as we had hoped, and they're going to make it five to nine. Nine to five, of course, if you're rooting for our good guys, Yorkville Foxes. Again, if you're just joining us, I'm Coach McKenna in the fantastic Atkins Esports Arena. We are watching week seven of our awesome Varsity Valorant team. This is their first season that they're playing ever, inaugural year. They already made into the top 10th seed of the state right now. Um, a couple games did get played before us because we're starting a little bit later as the IHSEA stream of the week. So right now we actually did dip down to 11th seed. However, depending on what happens here, we should be able to pull out a victory and just go up. Want that better seed, higher seed that we can for playoffs. Bread takes down Galaxy right there. Action is getting hot and heavy. Copic goes down. Cole gets Georgian. I don't know, with a great job cleaning up. He's just using a pistol. He's making it look so easy. He's got his work cut out for him, though. Oh, my goodness. Him and Cole. Cole says, forget this. I'm going B point. I'm throwing down some smoke, and I'm going B point. Tonto gets Cole. Spike is initiating. Spike has been planted. Cole has his work cut out for him. He's got three agents he has to take down. Joliet Central is well aware that he has just planted the bomb on B point. Let's see what happens here. Recon bolt goes out. Oh, man. Cole hits all the bullets around his face. 
So, so, so close. Oh, no. Central's starting to pick up some momentum now. They won that second round. We did win our first attacking round. However, Central making it a three-round game here. Foxes got to shake it off. Get ready. Starting to get a lot more money now coming in, though. Galaxy spends all but 100 of it. I don't know, sitting on a 1,000. Money isn't exactly as flowing as uh, richly as it was when we were defenders as we approach round 16 here. Fox is still looking really strong right now. So what happens here, hearing some great communication and strategy coming from these Foxes right now. I don't know, sends out a great drone. Time is running out on it. A point seems clear up the long hallway into it. So Juan will go around the corner there. Smoke does get dropped. Galaxy's right here playing the corner game. Nothing he sees so far. Seems like Cole's normally our spike carrier, and here he is. He's got his Vandal. Cole's going to drop down some smoke here. Kopik gets salt through the wall. Great job, great shot. Ice wall goes up from Kopik. Great defensive play there. Spike gets planted. These foxes are playing like their life depends on it. I can just hear it in the way they're communicating with one another. They are treating this game like it is the playoffs. Every point counts. Galaxy gets a great kill there. Galaxy picks another on bread. Can't make it a hat trick though. Kopik gets godly trash for the revenge kill on Galaxy. One's on his way. This bomb seems like it is destined to tick, tick, tick away. Joliet Central might be playing a save face, save your money there. We'll see if Tonto pops his sneaky head out. Here we go, these foxes. You can hear them in the background saying, hey, get out of there. Bomb's going to go off. Do not get greedy. We do not have infinite amount of money. Save your money. So that's one less gun they have to buy for round 17. Fox has increased that lead to four. They are three rounds away from winning this map. See what happens. Just great communication. Great play so far from Yorkville Foxes. Joliet Central's not going down quietly. They earn it. They err. They are a top 20 seed for a reason. I'll be sure to check back on the stats on that where Joliet Central is on the seed as we approach map two and take a little two-minute break after all these rounds. There's Galaxy, Pixel, perfect throw. Gosh, I swear I could do that. I've seen it enough times. Let's see what Copic sees. It's kind of point here. Here these foxes calling Juan back saying, hey, I don't know, get your butt over here, we need you. So I don't know he's going to bust out his knife, run to join these guys, and we got a whole cluster of Yorkville foxes right here. Cole ready to call down Tonto with the op shot, though. No goodness. Seems like that was Cole's ultimate. However, Cole gets flashbang. He does have the spike. He's in the smoke. He's going to set it down. My heart is racing right now for these foxes. Tonto gets another kill with his operator. Seems like he's in showers right now. That's what these foxes call this hallway that Cole is staring down. Cole gets a great job picking up two agents there. He's going to try to make it three with his mortar shot. Oh, doesn't do it. Brett is able to get him. Potamus gets bread. Georgian gets Potamus. There's going to be enough time to defuse. Ooh-wee. Central's going to get it. Not sure if he wanted to give his enemy or his buddy there the ability to defuse it. And Central makes it a three round game again. Pay attention. I learned something. Hmm. Economy is starting to look a little stronger for Joliet Central here. They might be able to get more operators going. Seems like the op is giving these foxes a little bit of trouble here. I believe that was Tonto who had that kill. Looking at the KDA right here, it's just entirely two different teams. Godly Trash is 13-13, uh, El Tonto 12-10, and the rest of them are negative on the KDA. All these Foxes are positive. I'm including Cole's assist. Assist counts as kill. 
Pixel perfect throw there. He's going to put smoke right in front of the teleporter between A and B point. These foxes might be taking it to B point. Dog goes out. Recon bolt happens. Location is revealed to Copic. Grenade comes out on him from the enemy rays. What's going on? At B point here. Whoa! Prince of Salt able to get three agents just like that. Georgian gets Cole. And it's all up to Galaxy here. These guys were cut out for him. Godly Trash is able to pick Galaxy. And just like that, Joliet Central makes it a two round game. Yorkville looking to get that momentum back right now. They got to shake it off here a little bit. Joliet Central just won, I believe, the past four rounds in a row. So their economy is doing fairly strong. Got to watch out here. Everyone does have that 50 armor on and automatic rifles. So we are technically up to full strength. Let's see if these Yorkville Foxes use some ultimates this round. Galaxy with pixel perfect throw. There it is. It goes up. Smoke's going to come down. Let's switch on over to Cole. He's kind of playing the corner a little bit. Let's see if he calls down any smoke right now. They're waiting to see if any ops come out right now. So far, so good. All quiet. Potamus, kind of the lone man out towards B point. What a cool switchblade comb knife he has there. That's a great skin on that. Awesome buddy on his uh, Phantom, too. I love that little brain with a... Um, University graduate cap. Shoots, I should know what that's officially called. A graduate college. Anywho. Rocket Fuse goes out. Ooh, Prince Assault gets Potamus. That rocket did come out. Copic and Cole starting to dominate here. Getting a little bit of breathing room. They are up one agent. Spike gets planted as well on B point. Galaxy getting ready to set up some more smoke. Copic uses ultimate. Res is Potamus. That is huge right now. Right now it's five agents to three. Galaxy is right there. Copic gets red. Wow. Can't believe Tonto did not go down there. Copic able to pick it up. Bomb ticks, ticks, ticks away. Yorkville inches that much closer to winning this map. Map one or two. Hopefully they can win both the maps and not be forced into a map three. Woo! We are in week seven of the Valorant season here. These Varsity Valorant Yorkville Foxes have been so smooth all season. Um, they're four and two going into week seven. They are the 10th seed. They just got pushed to 11 because a couple of games finished before us tonight. Um, we are two rounds away, hopefully, from winning this map. Closing the door halfway on Joliet Central. Let's get back to the players here and see what happens. I don't know, sending out a dog. A point does have someone on it. One's got to be careful. He's going to send out Bird. See if anyone bites on it, overcommits, or jumps into showers on him. Juan is just brave. Juan is also, I don't know. Um, Ally has been planning. Great job of smoke here. Potamus gets a kill on bread. That might be the momentum that they need here. Let's see what happens. They're already up one agent. That's an enemy grenade. Galaxy, everyone kind of hanging out in the smoke right now on A point. Bomb is taking away. Princess Hulk does get co-picked. Georgian gets Potamus. Godly Trash gets Galaxy. It's not looking good for these foxes all of a sudden. I don't know has his work cut out for him. Georgian, it's all up to Cole. Does Cole have his ultimate? No, he does not. It's going to be hard to defend this. They know he's going to be peeking around that corner. One enemy remaining. Wow, great job by Cole. He's able to get a shot through the box there. Clutch Cole. We call him that for a reason. Wow, great job, Clutch Cole. Is he able to save the day there? That bomb was absolutely going to get defused. Gets a kill through the box. It gets another guy. Gets another guy. Woo! Let's go, Yorkville Foxes. That's great news. It is now match point. Woo! I'm not nervous. Are you nervous? Oh, my God, my heart. All right. All jokes aside, let's go, Foxes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Great job, Clutch Cole there. Huge, huge plays. What a great morale boost for this team. See what? Let's. I mean, it's almost tradition. We gotta watch Galaxy throw his pixel perfect smoke grenade. Here it comes. Location is revealed. 
I'm surprised no one's opt Galaxy through that wall. There might be enough walls there that it would stop it. Smoke goes out in the right point. Seems like A point is going to have all the action on it. Copic does get revealed with a little recon bolt. And these foxes say, forget it, we're going B point. Ooh, 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 ooh. Potamus seeing some action here. You can hear him calling out, hey, backside of B point is starting to get lit up here. Enemy does drop some smoke. See these foxes. We do have Copic and Galaxy kind of bringing up the left side here. El Tonto gets Galaxy. Copic gets Tonto. Copic. Copic getting all the kills right now. Having a hard time switching over to him. Spike has been planted, and just like that, the time has begun. If this bomb goes off, Copic able to take down Godly Trash. Now before Bread gets the revenge kill, and it's three agents to one. Bread has his work cut out for him. He is right now the weakest KDA score on Joliet Central. He absolutely has his work cut out for him. There's no holding it back. There's no saving it for the next round. Save your money. It's do or die time. Defuse this thing. Kill these agents. Woo! GG Foxes in the first round is going to go to Yorkville. That map looked a little dicey there for a second. Joliet Central coming back, winning something like five, almost six rounds in a row there. Yorkville, though, closes the door, and we are halfway to our first season playoffs. Let's go, Yorkville. 13-8 and eight at hopefully the halfway mark. And hopefully Joliet Central does not throw a wrench in the works here and force a map three. Let's take a quick break. I'm Coach McKenna at Atkins Esports Arena. Don't go anywhere.
All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Actually, it seems like we're going to be on Map Haven. Most of the time it's been a send, bind, and then a kind of icebox. Kind of a switch up. I don't think we've done Haven so far this season. So see how that plays out. We got Cole going his favorite brimstone. Cole pick going to go jet. Great character to play if you're going to be sniping. Has a lot of movement boost. Get that snipe kill and jet out of there. Potamus going sky. I don't know, going chamber. And Galaxy going rain. So see how this all plays out right now. Looks like a great team comp. Um, I'm not the most familiar with Haven, so this is exciting for me. I thought we were going to be doing a send bind, you know, till I'm, till I'm gray in the face. I'm blue in the face and my hair goes all gray. Um, you know, metaphors. So we'll see what happens here. 20 seconds to go. These foxes are pumped. I'm pumped. Let's go, Yorkville. They win this map. That's the match, and they're going to the playoffs. We'll see what their seed is afterwards. Man, if we can get in that top 10, that would be great. Top 16 schools get to go to the playoffs. Um, top eight get to go to like the land finals, which would just be, man, fantastic for our first inaugural year. I mean, let's go. It doesn't get much better than that. All righty, here we go. These foxes are ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. We got A site, B site, and C site on Haven here. Not just A and B, also a C site thrown into the mix here. We'll see how that plays Doesn't out. I'm loading in here. There we go. Our ping did settle down. There always makes me nervous when we jump into a match and says high ping. Because if I have high ping, that means these guys have high ping. All right. We are ready, Freddy. First round's going to be a pistol round. <laughs> I hear these foxes joking around in the background. I know why we lost our last pixel round. is because Potamus did not find me a ghost pistol. Seems to be kind of a traditional thing that these foxes do here. These guys like to have fun. All right. Two, one. Foxes are the higher seed, so they will start off as defenders. Cole's going to throw down some smoke right there in the main hallway, making sure anyone's going to try to rush B point. Ooh. Oh, Galaxy unable to get a shot there. Cole gets Georgian. There's so much action happening right now. Potamus. Ooh, my. These foxes are cleaning up. I just can't catch the action here. Brad gets, I don't know, in Potamus. Man, if Brad comes back and kills these two agents, that would be a pretty sincere comeback for this guy. Spike has dropped right here. Galaxy trying to play corners. Spike Carrier is down, though. I feel like these foxes, there's definitely bread right there. Woo-wee! Copic getting a little saucy there. Thought he was going to jet dash in and knife the guy. Woo-wee! All right, so that first round win will go to Yorkville. Woo-hoo! A little round of applause for these foxes. Um, that's going to give them a great econ advantage. As you can see already, I don't know has grabbed a marshal. Um, let's see. We got a guardian on Galaxy, a marshal on I don't know. Potamus is saving up his money. Kopek has a guardian as well. Looks like it just got bought for him. And Cole's going to go with the Spectre. Probably my favorite gun in the game. I love that MP5 Navy. Kopek grabs a great kill right off the bat. Kopek with another one with the guardian. Wow, two agents down just like that. That is absolutely huge. Econ-wise, everything, just momentum. These foxes got it. Does a little mid-air jump boost there. That is his natural, excuse me, ability. Co-pick with a, such a clean headshot. That was poetry in motion. Is all down to one agent here. El Tonto gets Cole, and Cole is not happy about that. Whoa, no. Tonto gets Copic. These foxes have to be careful. They can't just jump in and mow this guy down. Joliet Central didn't make it this far in the season for no reason. I don't know, with a nice clean shot on his marshal. Galaxy was there to kind of get the 180 kill. And foxes go 2-0 just like that on the second map. 
These guys are really starting to pull ahead. I mean, just great job, Foxes, so far overall. If you're just joining the stream, we are in our second map of the night. Foxes won the first one. They were able to get the 13 first. I believe we ended up 13 and 9, 13 and 8. We're going to have to go back and look at the tape to, con to check back on it. Um, they just went 2 and 0 on their second map. And, well, they're starting off strong right now. Ooh, boy, lots of hot and heavy action here. Galaxy had to watch out. George John seemed to know that he was there. Pops him one for trying. Gives him a... Eh, eh. Woo! Copic gets Princess Salt. Godly Trash gets Copic. I don't know, throws down some martial shots just in the smoke just because. Why not? Spike does get planted. Potamus rocking a sheriff. It's going to be down to three agents versus four. Yorkville with the uphill battle. Let's see what happens. Potamus playing his corners here. He's going to throw out a recon bird. Smoke goes out. There's definitely some box shots happening there. Potamus does take a hit himself. they got to watch out. It's up to I don't know and Potamus right now. Ooh, I don't know with a great martial kill there. So it's over just in time. Potamus making his way, trying to grab that gun so he can walk into this fight with a little bit more than just a sheriff. Oh, Georgian and Godly take down, I don't know, and Potamus. Going to be close there. Not sure if they're going to be able to defuse even if they ran right for it. Their time was ticking away. But we are in our fourth round here. Just taking a look at the econ. Galaxy full armor. The only one I didn't see with full armor is Copic. He might be... Oh, it's not like he's saving his money. He only has 100 left. Thought he might be saving for an op. Let's see what happens here. Foxes are doing great. Huge shout out to all the friends and family of these Yorkville Foxes that are watching at home. Thank you so much for your support. These players play even that much better when they know that they got friends and family watching at home. Smoke around that center point. This is what makes Haven so crazy. You got three bomb sites. Cole gets blinded. I could hear him calling it out. Potamus is able to take one down, but Tonto uses his alt. Gets Potamus. Cole gets godly trash going a little bit tit for tat here. Let's go, Foxes. Great call outs. It's going to be an easy defusal. And these Foxes are going to go three and one. There it is. Boom. Just like that, Yorkville Foxes jump out to three and one. Yorkville looking really strong right now. They only have to win 10 more rounds, and this match is over. Right now, Joliet Central has to win 12. I mean, it's not that big of a difference right now. It's only a two-round lead. But you can feel that momentum shift already starting to happen in this map. Um, but don't count Joliet Central out. They seem like they got a little bit of that cold clutch spirit in them. And when they get their back against the wall, they seem to start playing a little bit better. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe we can carry that momentum on and on and on and really just drag morale down to the ground. Let's go, Yorkville. Galaxy gets a kill. Oh, my gosh, Galaxy gets two, and then Tonto gets co-pick. Oh, and this, of course, the second we leave him stops doing all this damage as Reyna. Brad gets coal. We just can't find a good camera on the action right now. See, right now we got our camera on I don't know. Let's switch on over to Galaxy. Not seeing a big quiet hush has come over the esports arena. Ah, Price is the I always want to say Price, the Prince of Salt, takes Spike down an planted. agent there. Spike does get planned. It's going to be up to Galaxy and Potamus to do the work here. Galaxy doing a met methodical, meticulous job with corners. Brad does a really nice clean long distance shot there and is able to win the round. Yorkville sees her lead to go down to just one round. However, it is very early in this map. Only round six. I'm not worried whatsoever for these foxes.
This might be a save round for these foxes. I hear him talking strategy, thinking about future money spending. Excuse me, so much of this game is just kind of saving your pennies, knowing when to make really big pushes, when to snowball, when to take that advantage of your gold lead. Oh, wow, what a headshot by Galaxy there. Sheriff gets it, is able to get an overheal and take down another one with his Sheriff. Great job there. Switch on over Copic, just activate his ultimate as Jet. Let's see if he can get a knife or two out here. It's essentially a free gun. Smoke goes out. Playing careful corners here. This Atkins Esports Arena is absolutely silent. Copic with a great ultimate kill there as Jet. Tonto takes down I don't know. And if Cole and Copic can work together here, Tonto gets Copic. What a great corner shot. It's up to Clutch Cole. Let's see if he can live up to his name. Cole does just have... Ooh, he's going to call down his ultimate here. Let's see if it's able to hit its mark. Cole's going to switch on over to a Phantom. Juliet Central Agent might have switched to go long. Wow, nice job, Cole. Great read, great map awareness. Great job, and Cole again comes up, comes up clutch, and Yorkville Foxes make it a 4-2 match. If you're just joining us, I'm Coach McKenna at Atkins Esports Arena. We're watching these Valorant Varsity Yorkville Foxes really shine tonight, show their stuff. They won the first map. They're cruising through the second map right now. It's 4-2. and two. They win this one. The regular season is done, and they're going off to the playoffs. So don't go anywhere. we got a lot of more exciting action here. Um, enough of me yammering on. Let's get to the players. Here, a lot of strategy going on right now. We'll see if Potamus can see anything. A little recon as he sends out a dog. There are two agents right around the corner there. He lets his teammate know about that. Folly goes out from Brim. Godly Trash gets Cole. Read that Folly. Wow, Potamus is able to get one. Definitely got a body shot or two on Godly Trash. However, Godly Trash is going to use his ultimate and res. Woo! Galaxy with a great job. He's got to be careful of that corner right there. Oh, nice try, Foxes. There was a res. There was a lot of money spent that round. Right now, Tonto doing all the heavy lifting for Juliet Central. He is 12-5. and five. The Prince of Salt bringing up the rear. He is 2-5. and five. Georgian is 3-7. and seven. Right now, Galaxy is doing all the heavy lifting on our team. He is 11-4. and four. Then Copic, Potamus, I don't know, and Cole. See the loadout here. A lot of different guns being bought. I'm seeing a lot of share so This might be a save round for these foxes. I don't know. Going with a judge. What a cool skin he has on that gun as well. It is animated. Seems to be like a win a pig's fly kind of motif. See what happens here. Copic kind of holding down a long sight line here. So is Cole. We'll kind of keep our camera centered on Copic and Cole here. They're holding down big, big sight lines. Ooh, hearing some action, some call outs here. Copic's going to throw down a smoke. Jumps through that nonsense. Cole gets picked off. Galaxy is able to grab two of them. Blah! Make that three. Make that four. Galaxy going looking for the ace right here. Ah, Potamus takes it from him. Ooh-wee. And an ace gets stolen from Galaxy here. You can hear him in the background. That was my ace. Oh, man. I think that's what's awesome about these guys is even when they're kind of behind, up, down, doesn't matter. These guys are always having fun in the background. And that's kind of what really this is all about. I mean, no Boy Scout cheesy message about it. But, I mean, we're playing a game. We're here to have fun, show off our skills, and compete against other schools. And that's exactly what these Yorkville Foxes are going, are doing. All right, let's switch on back over to the action. Wall goes down. Yorkville is still on the defense. 
five to three. It's just a two-round lead. Joliet Central is not going to go quietly. They're making that obvious. This is absolutely still anyone's game. It is great news that Yorkville won that first map, though. It gives us some woo, breathing room and takes the pressure off. Every round counts, though. Switch our camera over. I don't know. Seeing a lot of just wall shots. Everything's going on everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Potom is seeing some action. Or John is able to grab a couple. Or he gets, I don't know. These foxes are all grouped up. They have to be careful. Copic with a great op shot there. Let's see if he can do it again. Love getting op kills on the camera feed. Copic has to watch out here. He just has an op and he's fairly close range right now. He's going to have to save that up and just run out. There's no way he's going to be able to get in there and defuse the bomb. He's got to watch out, see if anyone comes to chase him here. And we're going to have to give this round to Joliet Central, who is starting to put up a heck of a fight here. We did have at one time a three-round lead, now down to just one. Yorkville's still up, though, 5-4. to four. They have been up this entire match. All right, Yorkville Fox is going to run it again here. That last round might have been a save round that we were talking about. Money is getting spent here. Galaxy's still sitting with 1,700, though. Let's see what kind of ultimates we have. Galaxy does have his alt as Reyna. We'll see if he uses that sometime soon here. Got a lot of Vandals. And then, of course, I think I saw Cole with the Spectre. Copic gets a great shot with his op. Galaxy cleans up. Oh, blink. Blink and you miss it, ladies and gentlemen. That was insane. Copic with the off kill, and then Galaxy starts popping off with his Vandal, just headshot after another. That's got to bring down Team Morale on Joel Hit Central. Wow, great job, Foxes. Holy cow, jeez Louise. That was a thing of beauty. Let's get back to the action. Oh, my gosh. Woo! That was a thing of beauty. Oh, my gosh. All right. Cole dropped some smoke right on that kind of center rush point there, mid-courtyard. Op kill. Kopik really starting to shine with his operator here. Oh, man, those, just, those kills ship the momentum of the match right at the start. It's so huge to be going into a 5v4. Make that a 5v3. Woo, Galaxy. A little spray and pray there. Gets the kill. Let's switch on over to Copic. Woo! Couldn't get to him in time. He's able to get a knife kill out, though. Great job. Yorkville starting to play a little bit looser, have a little bit more fun, and they're starting to pull out way in front. 7-4, to four, Yorkville on the second map. We already won the first one. We're in a good spot right now. Yorkville right now is potentially only six rounds away from closing out the regular season and going to the Sweet 16. Potentially top 10 here. I don't know, setting up his cards, his little teleporter loop here. Let's see what happens here. It's kind of a lone guy watching this kind of C point corner. Tonto gets Cole. Potamus seeing some action. Golly Trash gets Potamus. Yorkville's got their work cut out for him here. Let's see what Galaxy and Copic can do. Woo, not much. Tonto puts the hurt down on Galaxy there. It's up to I don't know. Spike planted. Excuse me, and Copic to get five agents, five to two, and the spike has been planted. Seems like this round will most likely. Copic tries to go for a no scope, can't make it happen. Moving around, Georgian gets I don't know, and it's up to Copic to solo ace him. He can do it. Ooh, flawless by Joliet Central there. What I think might be their first flawless win of the night. That's going to give Joliet Central a much-needed economy money boost here. See what happens. Here. Help a right 
Oh, Derp, we just had a round switch here. Yorkville will be attackers now. They are 7-5 at the split. Pretty similar to last round, last uh, last map. Last map they were 8-4 and four on the split. So hopefully, similar midway point, similar end result. Galaxy sends it out. Nothing there. Whoa! Oh, Georgian gets Galaxy and Cole pick with a great flank maneuver there. Cole gets Price ass but Prince Assault, not Price. Ally's gonna plant this thing. Georgian gets three kills in this round, and it's three agents to two. However, I don't know, and Cole grab a kill there, and it's down to one agent to one agent. I don't know versus Brad, and oh my god. You could hear a pin drop in this room right now. Brad is able to get the drop on I don't know. And he's going to be able to defuse as well. Gosh darn it. As there's a boo. Boo. <laughs> Charlie Head Central wins that pistol round. They're going to have that econ advantage at their second round on the defense side of things that might play off into another round for them here where they might be able to tie it up and go 7-7. Seven and seven. Uh, according to my knowledge, that'll be the first time that Juliet Central has been able to tie this up. Hopefully, it doesn't give them the momentum that they need to grab the lead and win this map and force a map three. That would not be good for these foxes. All right, wall goes down. Galaxy goes out, throws out a little AOE, whatnot. You kind of arrow, dog is out. There's so much action going on right now. I'm not sure if I want to leave my camera to jump to Cole. Of course, the second I do, I don't know, goes down. Godly trash, everyone. There's a lot of action going on right now. None of it's good for Yorkville. George John with that Spectre, you can see that econ boost, that econ damage. Copex got four agents to kill, a sawed-off shotgun, and 47 health. It's a lot to do. Let's see what happens here. Copic. Oh, Tonto gets him with a frenzy, just running and gunning just like that. And Joliet Central just tied this map 7-7. Seven to seven. They know that their season's on the line as well. They are playing like their life depends on it. Let's see what happens here. Yorkville kind of joking around saying they might be going C point right now. Let's see if it happens. Again, if you're just joining us, my name is Coach McKenna. You are in the fantastic YHS Esports stream in the beautiful Atkins Esports Arena here at YHS. We are in the middle of some exciting Varsity Valorant action. YHS versus Joliet Central, 7-7 seven seven on map two. Yorkville won the first map. Let's get back to it. All right, dog goes out. We're watching Galaxy right now. Switching over to Potamus. Galaxy is able to get godly trash. Great pick. Exactly the momentum that this team needs right now. Great targeting with Potamus there. You could see that mouse tracking. Follows his target all the way down. Spike is planted. Kills are happening in Yorkville's favor. And this is looking like there's going to be a Yorkville round most definitely. Barring some a miracle work by Joliet Central. Brad starting up. He'll climb, though. He takes down Copic. Bomb is ticking away, though. I don't know, trying to line up a corner headshot here. He's not trying to peek. Potamus takes down Brad. Great job. I don't know. Gets El Tanto. Teleports back to his OG position. The round's going to end before the spike detonates. And these guys are going to save a ton of money that round. Great job, Yorkville Foxes. Great job. Let's see what the economy's looking like. Galaxy just bought everything he can. I don't know. Has plenty of money. 3,200 left over. Really, the only one that's kind of hurting for money right now is Galaxy. However, he does have full armor, abilities, two points away on his alt. Let's go, Foxes. Wall goes down. Potamus with, with the coolest knife skin in the game. You're going to hear Potamus calling out. What he did see was two Jolian Central agents way down in that back window. I don't know. Able to grab a kill, though. That is huge momentum shift. Setting down a little teleporter loop with his cards. Wall shot. Great job, Potamus. And I don't know. 
Hippopotamus putting out some suppressing fire. Really cool dragon skin on his Vandal there. Whoa, Kopik with a huge op shot. Golly Trash gets Potamus. Kopik, are you kidding me? Did you see the reflexes on that? Whoa. Woo, blink and you miss it, guys. That was intense. Oh, man. Yorkville. Well, once was 7-7. Seven and seven. They now go up to a two-round lead, make it 9-7. and seven. That is great news momentum-wise and econ-wise. Check out Kopik's money situation. He's got an operator, full armor, and $5,600 to spare. These guys are not hurting for money right now. Wall's going to go down. Let's stay with Kopik here, see if he can get an early off kill. Wall's going to go out. Oh, the second Kopik gives up his patience. A guy runs right into his crosshair there. Not sure if that enemy saw Kopik. Seems like they did as he saw a little bullet smoke go by. Georgian gets Potamus, though. Seems like the action's going to be over here with kind of the main squad. Georgian takes down another one, but not before Galaxy gets the Prince of Salt. Ally is planning on B point right now. That would be our guy, Clutch Cole. Spike has been planted. Yorkville just has to guard this bomb here. Right now it's four agents to four. How, I'll make that four to three. Galaxy gets a kill. Galaxy looking like he is surrounded. Cole goes down. I don't know, gets Fred. Georgian gets got, gets, I don't know. Galaxy gets Godly, makes it his third kill of the round. Georgian gets Kopik, makes it his fourth kill of the round. And it's all down to Galaxy and Georgian. But Galaxy had the quicker trigger finger. And he takes that guy down, makes it 10 and 7. Yorkville increases their lead to three rounds. Let's go, Foxes. These guys are. You got to hand it to Joliet West, though. They are not going quietly into the night. They are absolutely fighting tooth and nail out here. They know their season is on the line. They are really gunning and going for it. Yorkville's not going to let them, though. Make it 10 and 7. Yorkville is potentially three rounds away from going to their first playoffs in their inaugural season. Nothing to sneeze at. These kids are the real deal. Let's see what happens. Scout dog goes out. Box, but Galaxy can't make those shots connect. The action is hot and heavy right here. We'll keep our camera on Galaxy. Wow, great shot by Galaxy on Brett. Great shot by Galaxy on the Prince of Salt. Cole gets another one. Ally is planning. And these agents are dropping like flies on Joliet Central. This could be a flawless win for Yorkville here. That would be a great momentum and a huge dent to enemy morale. Galaxy popping this window here. He is ready. He has his crosshair right there. Wow. And it was the right spot to be. Galaxy makes it a flawless round for Yorkville. And these foxes are beyond pumped behind me right now. You can hear it. The energy is absolutely ecstatic right now in the Atkins Esports Arena. Let's go, foxes. Great job, boys. Great job all around. These guys are potentially two rounds away from going to their first playoffs ever. I'm beyond excited. Let's see what happens. Let's see the money situation. Galaxy loaded. These guys are chocked full of cash and then some. It is an uphill battle for Joliet Central from here on out, that is for sure. Whoa, Galaxy gets a great kill just like that on Georgian. Seems like someone might be behind that box there. Galaxy is able to get godly trash through the smoke that Cole just dropped down there. Bomb is planning. Get out of here, Galaxy makes it a hat trick, grabs his third agent. It's all up to El Tonto to take down four Yorkville Foxes. There's one. Cole gets El Tonto, and these foxes are again cruising along. They are one round away potentially from ending the regular season in a Sweet 16, what most likely above top 10 seed. We'll have to see what the IHSEA challenge bracket comes out with. They're updating that thing ASAP because this final round, the final, well, the round of 16, whatever, first round of the playoffs can be kind of not done on your standard Wednesday time frame. 
Uh, we'll see what the enemy team who we get paired up with on our seating wants to play it. But it could be any time between now and Wednesday. Copic with a great op shot. Are you kidding me? Takes down Godly Trash. Potamus takes down another one. Hollywood Cole takes down Tonto by far their best player. And this is looking like the nail in the coffin, the final moment for Joliet Central and their season. Let's see what happens here. Trying to over to Galaxy. I don't know. Potamus, who's going to get it? Kopik throws a knife, gets the Prince of Salt, activates his ultimate. Ally Bomb has been planted. It all comes down to bread to kill five Yorkville agents, defuse the bomb. That's a tall ask. It seems like this might be knives out. Oh no! Oh no! Yorkville's got to be careful here. Bad manners are going to cost them this round if they're not careful. Brad grabs four kills as all of them try to smoke and knife Brad here. These foxes are going bananas in the background. Whoa! Potamus gets Brad. Just like that, it is victory for these foxes. Great job, guys. Great job. Woo, what an exciting match we just watched. We just watched Yorkville win their two maps against Joliet Central. They are absolutely going to the playoffs. They made it to the top 10, Sweet 16, all that good stuff. Um, I'll post out an update on the YouTube channel or on our Twitter account to see what our final standing is. You can hear these guys are absolutely elated and excited behind me. For all of us here at the Atkins Esports Arena, we look forward to bringing you some exciting playoff action of Valorant next week. So be sure to stay tuned. Again, for all of us here at the Atkins Esports Arena, I'm Coach McKenna. Adios, sayonara, and good night.